Hi, I'm Lane, and we're back in Manly Kitchen. Now, we're working with Chili Colorado, and if you didn't see the first video, go back and check that out or read the written instructions. What we've done is we've boiled the chili peppers, the dried peppers, and all the spices, and now we're going to take all of that and we're going to turn it into sauce. So follow along. Let's have some fun. We're almost eaten. Now that I've let the peppers cool a little bit, they're still very warm, but they're cool enough to deal with. I'm going to take them in small batches and transfer them over into my food processor. And if you don't have one, and don't tell me you can't afford one, because I could, found one for $8 in a garage sale, kid you not. And yeah, one more scoop. Now this I'm going to use for the rustic version, which basically means it's going to have pureed peppers in it instead of just the juice. Let's see if I can make this thing work again. Maybe. This is what it looks like when you finish. How about that? Is that gorgeous or what? The next step for the rustic is to put all of it, bits and seeds and everything, into a strainer and work it through. And unless you're really, really diligent, you are not going to get it all not to worry because as you can see you will get quite a bit so I'm gonna work this for a bit and I'll see you in a minute now after working it for less than five minutes you can see that mostly what I have left are the skins and the seeds this is what I have and look at how thick that is I don't need to do anything to this at all. As a matter of fact, I, I'm actually going to add a little something to it. I'll show you that in just a minute. Why are you doing that? I'm getting ready to film something. You can listen, but don't talk, okay? Is that all right? Okay, cool. Wait right there. Now you can see in the bowl, I've got about four cups of what I got out of all of those peppers that I pureed. I also have another two cups in the pot that I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Uh. So out of all of those, I got about six cups of chili. Plus I've also got the broth over there and we're going to play with that too. Cool? What? I'll show you. Hold on. You can see my pan in front is preparing. You know I like to put the fat in there with uh, the, uh, the oil let it just kind of get ready and that gives me that fat flavor without having to chew on it now here we have the thin broth and this is a little bit of wonder flour and some water always good to start it out that way now I'm not going to use it all yet I'm going to see what happens with just a little bit I didn't make all that much. Go, 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 go on stirring with the whisk. Don't ever stop. Make sure you get it good and mixed in. Now I need a hot pad. Great. Hold on. Okay, about that fast. Okay, it's mixed well enough and it's going to thicken up just a touch. So I'm going to move that one off, bring this one over. This is that puree I did. Okay. And this one is just about ready, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a couple of tablespoons of half and half. 
Now remember the spaghetti bolognese, I did that. And what it did more than anything was just made it smoother and a little more elegant. Now it will knock the heat back just a bit, but look, um, if you put yourself a dozen habaneros in here, that's really not going to matter. So you can make this as hot as you want and still get that couple of tablespoons of milk in there or half and half like I like to use. Okay, so there we are. Now we have our two sauces. And now I can go ahead and clear the pan and get ready for some fun. Now this is very hot oil. I'm going to tell you that now. Um, over on the side I have two different types of meat. And I've cubed my ribeye. This is going to go into the thicker sauce. And I'm just barely going to brown these as quickly as I can. As soon as everybody's browned all the way around, which ain't going to be long, we're going to put it into that sauce. And that's when that's going to start to get real happy. There we go. We'll let this guy stay for another minute because he's not quite ready. Now you can see, even that quick, it released quite a bit of juice. That's why you don't want to do it long. Now, you know I like rare meat, so this is just totally fine with me. I'm just going to fold it through the sauce, make sure everybody's got some on it. Let the meat get to know Mr. Chili Sauce. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what, folks? Come on now. That's real chili. Alright. Alright, one last guy in there. We'll just push him down to the bottom. There we go. Alright. Back to switching pans. I've got that one where you can see it. And you can see it's thickened up a little bit, nowhere close to that other stuff. Whoops, missed one. Okay, now see how I've cut this into strips? This is another way you can serve your meat. And it's very elegant. And because you want to show it off, this is what I'm going to dress in the thinner sauce. And I'm actually going to put both of these on the plate tonight since I've got them. Since I had the two sauces, I thought I'd show you the two different ways to slice the meat up. You see again, very quickly, not a whole lot going on there. Come on, guy, you need to hurry up and catch up with your buddies. See, done on both sides, in it goes. That's it. That's all we want to do it. If you want to cook it to well done, by all means do so. But do it in the sauce, not in the oil. Okay, that one's ready to get back over there where it should have been in the first place. Very quickly. Give it another minute on the other side so it'll catch up the sides of the meat. And that's more than enough except for that guy. I'll catch him on the side like that. That's why I use tongs. See, now he's done. Done done. And we are done with that pan.
Now, you need to get these down into the sauce. Remember, they're cooking the whole time, so I got to work fast. Okay, now it's time to plate up. Alrighty, I've elected to do what I call the skunk stripe, where I put the rice down the center of the plate. Remember, always just a little touch of cheese on there for color. On one side, I'm going to put just a few strips, because remember, I got two different types I'm serving now. And today, since we got grandbabies, of course, that means children visiting. So we got more mouths to feed. Oh, one more with that. How about that? And we will take just a little bit of sauce. I'm going to put those down. And pour over that. That's version one. Now you can do that with cubes or with the strips as I've done. And then on the other side, carefully, carefully. do that. And since I was a slob, I got that side of the plate dirty. I'm going to try and clean that up just a bit, and I'm not real good at this because of my eyes, but we do the best we can. This works even better with a wet uh, washcloth or hand towel, something like that. And now, since my fingers are clean, We'll finish up that way. Need a little bit of sour cream to suggest that. And that's going to go right here between the two of them. And there it is, folks. Chili Colorado, two different ways. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go enjoy the meal and enjoy the company, and I'll be back to close out in a minute. So there you go. Two different ways to serve Chili Colorado. Now I'm certainly not suggesting you do both in one meal, okay? I just wanted you to see the two different ways you could do this. Try them both and then focus on the one that you like best. And I actually have uh, a couple of different uses and I'll be showing some other uses uh, in future videos. So I do it both ways. But as far as an elegant dinner, and something a little smoother, I'm going to go with that smooth sauce, okay? Now keep in mind also that you can do this with any cut of beef, all the way down to ground beef. Uh, I don't like to do ground beef unless I'm doing the uh, American type chili, so I'd recommend you do uh, a flank steak, something of that nature. Look for something that's on sale. Get a, get a cost savings if you can, because pretty much any beef you put in this is going to be awesome, okay? So this is Manly Kitchen, and I'm Lane. I'll see you again soon. Peace.